Hi, everybody. Welcome to the meditation this week. Um, I won't say Wednesday because it's actually Thursday. I uh, lost track of my days this week. Um, we're going to look at uh, Psalm 23 this week. Uh, it's a psalm of trust, and it has some memorable imagery um, within the psalm. It has grassy pastures, restful waters, dark valleys, um, the protecting and correcting rod and staff, the sumptuous feast, the fragrant oil. It sort of makes a journey from rest to shadow to feast, narrating God's presence throughout it in moments of orientation, disorientation, and reorientation. It's used usually at funerals, where most of you have probably heard it recited, and it's used in celebrations, usually during the season of Easter, because its focus is on the image of the Good Shepherd. Um, there's immense hope in Psalm 23 that it promises us each and every day if we can read it beyond just when we hear it at a funeral. So during my Hebrew class, we translated Psalm 23 and memorized it uh, in Hebrew. We translated it into English and memorized it in Hebrew. Doing this really kind of wrote the words of the Psalm on my heart and has helped me through some, um, some rough days. Uh, so I want to read you right now Psalm 23 from my translation from the original Hebrew, because sometimes I feel like it helps to go back to the original to try and reset our preconceived notions of the words um, or to read something in a different version than we're used to, a different translation of the Bible. Um, because when we recite things or we've heard the same passage over and over again, it can tend to lose some meaning. Um, we don't really hear the words that we're actually saying. So here's Psalm 23, a Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack or decrease. In green pastures, he makes me lie down beside waters peaceful. He guides me. My soul, my entire being, he restores and leads me by the paths of righteousness for the sake of his name. And though I walk through the valley into the deepest, darkest places, I will not fear the evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare before me a table in the presence of those who show hostility to me. You anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over and I am satisfied. Surely good things and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will abide in the house of the Lord for the length of days. Now the Hebrew language um, can sometimes have more than one meaning for a word, um, and the translators do their best to give the, the, to pick the word that they think translates the best to whatever language they're translating into. Um, the portion that uh, jumped out at me when I was translating this was the second half of verse four. It says, your rod and your staff, they console me. Um, or the rod and thy staff, they comfort me. The words rod and staff seem very simple. Um, a shepherd has a rod. Does he have a staff too? Like it, They seem pretty simple, easy to understand. Um, but the word for rod, which is shiftecha, can also mean tribe or clan. And the word staff, umishantecha, can also mean support of every kind or sustenance. This helps me, when I, when I look at those words in that way, it helps me to see that those around me, my tribe or my clan, as well as my shepherd, are meant to be there to help hold me up. And the support and sustenance of the staff that's being offered by the shepherd can be found through my tribe as well. God sustains me through the help of those around me. God supports me through the help of the rods and staffs in my life. So some questions that I want you to meditate on this week is think about who is your tribe? Who is God using as a rod or a shivtecha in your life? How is your tribe, your shivtecha, providing support or sustenance to you? And then think about who you are providing support and sustenance for. Is God using you as a rod, a shivtecha, a tribe? Is he using you that way? And um, to provide the sustenance or the support or the umishantecha in someone's life. 
And then third, I want you to think about how God is the rod and the staff and how that comforts you. Let's pray. Jesus, loving shepherd, we hear your voice and we know the price you paid because of your love for us. Help us to move beyond hearing and knowing to accepting the life you offer us and committing ourselves to serving others, giving you all honor, glory, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope everybody has a great week, and I will hopefully see you next week. My semester is winding down, so my, uh, my to-do list is getting a little long with uh, final assignments. So hopefully I will see you all next week. Bye.